Hi there, Taurus. Thank you for joining me for your monthly forecast for September. I have to say that one of the greatest new moons I have seen for you for a long time occurs on the 5th of this month. It's full of bounce, vibrancy and enthusiasm as the Sun combines with Jupiter. This can give you a wonderful ability to communicate well and also get across your ideas around any creative interest, but it can also do wonders for your social situation, or can it? Because there is a contraindication with Mars clashing badly with Saturn in your sector of relating, and this is going to be going on for two weeks from the start of the month too. So how do we unpick it? Well, basically, Mars is in the part of your horoscope to do with your emotions. So if you try to force the pace in a romantic situation, I actually think it's going to be counterproductive. And you do need to kind of chill out a little bit. Saturn's there and it's making you much more serious about what you want from relationships generally. And all sorts of relationships may have been changing over the last year since Saturn moved into your relating sector. And this month, with Venus, your ruler in this zone, you could have cause for optimism. But the problem is, then Venus goes on to move across Saturn too. So we've got some pinch points, but we've got some opportunities. The opportunities come from really you having the confidence to go forward as the authentic individual that you are. But this may mean tapping into some parts of your personality or your skill set that have lain dormant for a long time. Uranus has been making you very restless the last couple of years, but it is forging this month a terrific angle with Mars. So this could see you with a desire to declutter your home, move all together, or get in touch with past memories or people, and that can have a dramatic effect on how you do feel about yourself. Physical changes can happen well this month, as long as you pace yourself, and in fact, at the heart of the month, there is also a wonderful opportunity between the 12th and the 16th to have a, a really magical interaction with someone on a romantic level as Venus forges a beautiful link with Neptune. But in week three, as Venus goes alongside Saturn, a relationship that just isn't working could end completely. This may seem quite dramatic, but no one is going to leave your world who is truly right for you. On the other hand, it can work the other way. Even if a relationship has been a bit rocky, this particular aspect can really, once and for all, be the testing field to see if it can go forward. And if you come through this aspect and get a lot clearer about what each of you has to offer, the relationship could settle down and become a very long-standing one. Now, towards the end of this month, the last 10 days, there is a change of emphasis. The sun's going to move into a more practical zone for you. And like Mercury before it, it is going to go opposite Uranus. So there is going to be some times when some information can come out into the open that you're not expecting. I do feel when it comes to work situations and confidences, you shouldn't be too trusting. Even if you've worked with someone a long time, we live in days where there's a lot of pressure in the industrial environment. Everyone's watching their back and you need to really, not in an, any kind of unkind way, but just make sure that your own agenda is satisfied. And if someone is trying to dig information out of you, you might be best to stay mum. As the month comes to a close, however, Mercury does move into your sector of relating. And if there has been any kind of impasse or tension, even if a relationship has separated but you want to be on reasonable terms, this will help you and your ex or the person you've been struggling to get along with to see one another's viewpoint much less hostily and in a much more detached way. It's been a real pleasure being with you. Thank you for joining me. Good luck and goodbye for now.